do you want to give a rebuttal to the Jake Christ situation? I read a little bit about this when it happened. Um, <laughs> Do you see yours. my cat go flying by? <laughs> I've, I've seen the I've seen your cat a few times actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you want to respond to what whatever it was that he did? He he set some title belts on fire or something like that. Um, yeah, man. You know, let me just say this: when cancel culture first came, and Dave Christ, Jake's is Jake's brother, uh, got slammed. Uh, in in that, uh, along with his girlfriend Samantha and stuff, TNA took that out on Jake. They 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 took his job from him. Um, you know he 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 wasn't getting bookings because of Dave. I was the only one that had faith in him, and not only did I have faith in him, uh, I I was paying him. I was putting him on shows when he wasn't wasn't even booked. Paying him out of my concession stand money, paying him directly out of my pocket, um, and. And let me state this: there, there was times or two that 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 I did owe Jake money and paid him exactly when he was told, okay. And to everybody who was on that Chicago show, uh, come that Monday morning afterwards, I said uh, to to my girl Misty, I said, I said, everybody paid. She said, everybody's paid, which that wasn't true, but she wasn't into letting me know how bad our money situation was. And people talk about the dark side of, of, of wrestling. This is part of the dark side of wrestling because the reason why she didn't want to let me know that we were out of money was because every couple of days I was trying to figure out a way to kill myself. Um, and she thought that this would be the, the, the thing that sets me over the edge. Uh, so, uh, you know, she, she tried, she tried keeping it from me. Never, ever in that time period from whenever he went to burning the belts. Uh, cause you know, uh, he, he was my junior, uh, champion and, and my world champion. And, um, you know, not, not not once, not once did he ever speak to me. Because to keep this going, my girl was taking my phone, and I mean, as you can see, I'm I'm legally blind. This is how I normally do things: big ass, thick magnifying glass. Um, you know, she handled all the all of our finances and things. So I I never knew anything different. Uh, but not once did Jake take the time to call me physically hear my voice and say, why, since you have always paid me when you said you're going to pay me, why aren't you paying me this time? Not one time. And let me tell you this. If it was about money, if it was about money, he could have easily sold those belts for quite some more than, 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 he, than he was owed. You know, uh, this this was this was about Jake Crist uh, wanting wanting to be the knight in shining armor of the 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 indie world that hates me. Right. John Wayne Murdoch was not owed a fucking dime from that show, not a fucking dime. And on top of that, he was paid fifty dollars extra for having to wait to his for his money until that Monday. You know, and 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 there's things there's thing there's things like you know I would book shows and seminars for Jake for Jake to make money things I lost money on. You know, uh, Jake locked his keys in his car one time after a show. I gave him half of the money to, uh, for the Papa Lock. You know, um, that particular Chicago show, he came up to me and said, "Hey, man, I'm I'm flying out of Chicago early and." In, in, in the morning, can you get me a hotel tonight? Okay, man. I got him, and Kong asked me the same thing. I said, you and Kong can room, I can get you a hotel. You know, uh, adding expenses on top of expenses of already losing money. But not one time did this guy ever speak to me, hear my voice, and hear me say, I'm not going to pay you. Because if he would have called me and he would have gotten my voice, he would have got 
Jake, what the fuck are you talking about? Everybody's been paid. And then literally one day, um, I guess when Jake put that on the internet and stuff, I hadn't seen it yet. Uh, I, I woke up to a message from my girl admitting everything that was going on that, that we were broke. We had like, I don't know, three dollars to our name or something like that. And, uh, you know, that, uh, the guys are pulling off a king of the death and, and all this other stuff. If guys would have gave me a chance to handle it once I knew, you know, with the connections I have with, with the people that believe in me, I could have easily took care of things, but instead it was immediately fuck Ian who's helped us so much. You know, John Wayne Murdoch would still be Damien fucking pain if it wasn't for me. You know, uh, I made I made that motherfucker like he came out of my balls and was personal sperm. You know, um, so you know, th th this whole thing, you know, well, like made no sense to me. And then then I'm calling people and I'm blocked. Like, <laughs> you know, I, I'm like I'm like trying to call people to explain to them, you know, I don't know what the fuck's going on. You know, I just got this, pardon the pun, dear John letter, you know, telling me how, how broke I am. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I, ne I never knew any of that, any of it. And then, uh, you know, July 12th came and sheriff's knocking on my door, uh, telling me to, to, to get out of my townhouse that I'm evicted. You know, so, yeah, it, it took me a second to get back on my feet. You know, to get beat down that that bad takes takes you a second to get back on your feet. But you know, uh, I managed. You know, and you know, we owed like seventeen thousand dollars to the fans. We've paid back like thirteen thousand plus of it. You know, um, I could have claimed bankruptcy and nobody would have got shit. <laughs> uh, but that wasn't what I wanted. You know, there's people put their faith in me, the the belief that you know my show was going to be worth this much money. And, um, and trust me, boy, it would have been this, that show would have been the greatest King of the death matches that ever, ever happened. Um, people, people would have been talking about it forever. That's the way we play. Good God Network, that's the way we play. Get puppies. Network, that's the way we play. Get all of the has been paid for by the WZWA Network.